from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I got it. I got it. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Thanksgiving Eve. Everybody getting ready for the big holiday. I have a big event every year. A lot of people coming over. God only knows what's going to happen. You know what shopping I've done? Oh, my God. I've been easily to seven different stores. One of them twice. Just trying to get all the things I forgot. I try to get backup stuff in case other stuff doesn't work out. You know, for example, I make my own gravy. But just in case it doesn't work out, I've got ready-made, top-of-the-line, ready-made gravy ready to go. Or if I need to augment, you can't. Gravy is one of those things you can't run out of. I can run out of pumpkin pie, but you can't run out of gravy. You got to have gravy. You've got to have enough cranberry sauce. You, you can't run out of that. You can't run out of stuffing. So I make sure I'm backed up six ways from Sunday. And I am. Big crowd coming tomorrow. Maybe you've got a big crowd. Maybe you're going to somebody else's Thanksgiving. You know, though, every year there's at least one. Some people have more than one. Let's stay with one. One person who's going to show up at your Thanksgiving, and frankly, they are scene causers, scene stealers, drama queens. They are drunks. They are addicts. They are creeps. They are S stirrers. Those who stir the S. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you ever have that one person who loves to come in and argue? You know. Somewhere, somebody's going to come in and start talking about why John McCain would have made a better president than Barack Obama. <laughs> Now, the purpose of Thanksgiving is to eat like a pig and fall asleep on the sofa. I don't really give a rat's ass about your political views. I couldn't care less. If I don't hear that NFL music playing in the background, if I don't have the fire going, if I don't have the the tryptophan moment where I just need to, like, fall down on the couch and collapse... It just isn't Thanksgiving. But do I really need to know what your political point of view is? Shut up! Oh, God, you're killing me. Speaking of that, you might have one person who comes into the party and just wants to ruin it for other reasons. Somebody who wants to come in and tell you what... I've always wanted to tell you what I really think of you. <laughs> do you know that person? Come on, you're envisioning them in your mind. You you know their name, and you know that that's your biggest fear, is that that person's going to come over, and everything's going to veer out of control, right? You've got everything out of control until this person shows up. How about the long-lost relative who decides they're going to show up after all these years? How about that person? You know the one I'm talking about? I know somebody whose mother, whose mother just simply disappeared out of sight for like five years. And suddenly, like, you know, you thought she's dead. My mom just disappears. Then she reappears. How about tearful reunions on Thanksgiving Day? You know, somebody's going to come in who, you know, somebody's ex-husband or ex-wife shows up. Ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. I have the kind of event where people know, people have been to my Thanksgiving, they know where I live. There's always that one person who did not get an invite this year and did not understand that by not getting an invite that month, they were not invited. And they show up anyway. Uh, hey, I didn't get my invite, but I figured you were having the party right about now, so I decided to come over. That person. Oh, yeah. 
Ever have that one person who's like a relative? The relative who always speaks their mind. <laughs> You know the one I'm talking about? The one who always, they just believe in saying exactly what they think. And that turkey's okay, I guess, but you know what? When I was a kid, my mother used to make a great turkey. There's all kinds of people like that. Now, I don't need last names because I don't need any litigation. But if you've got a first name for Uncle Sid or Aunt Betty or I don't care who it is, if you've got... Uh, you know, the name, just a first name of somebody who's go, who, who has the potential. Let's not, who, let's think positively. Hopefully they won't do it. Hopefully they won't show up. But let's get a first name from you. The person you are scared to death is going to show up and ruin everything. That one person can walk in the door and ruin everything with that one moment. You know what I'm saying? They have that one moment. Somebody comes over and, you know, announces that they've uh, had an affair or somebody else. Uh, ever have somebody like that? Like, you know, they, they they have brewing marital problems. You can always look at two people and tell them they're having marital problems. And you wonder, like, when is this thing going to blow up? Then suddenly you realize maybe it's going to blow up at my Thanksgiving dinner table. <laughs> I looked at your cell phone while you were in the bathroom and I see what you've been doing with your cell phone. Ever have one of those moments? And suddenly you're a bystander. Watching the woman going through 163 different photographs of a guy with his uh, slinky hanging out. And uh, there he is uh, sitting there at your Thanksgiving table trying to explain. But you don't understand. I was sending it to my doctor. I needed an exam, but I didn't have time to go in. You know. There is somebody out there who could ruin your day. And they have the potential, and they may even show up. Have you had that happen? Are you in fear of it happening at your Thanksgiving dinner table? I have to hear about that. Tom, Tom like, it. like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likus Show. Top like a show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Is there one person who could just upstage you the entire day? That one person who could decide to ruin your Thanksgiving. I can think of about a half a dozen people right off the top of my head. Don't need any revelations. Don't need any recriminations. Don't need to know what you always thought of me. At least if you're going to tell me what you always thought of me, do not do it tomorrow. That's all I ask. Now, for those of you who uh, do not have a big Thanksgiving plan tomorrow, uh, there is a big Thanksgiving event going on at the Laugh Factory, as it has been for, uh, will this be the 30th year? Jamie Kennedy is here. Hey, what's going on? What's up, buddy? Not much. How are you? Is that your is that your Jamie Masada impression? Wait a minute. Hello, buddy. Calm down. Hello, buddy. We're giving out pumpkin pie at the last factory. Michael Rich is going to be here handing out pies to black people. Barack Obama, we all good. <laughs> Every Dan Cook gonna be here, Bob Saget <laughs> gonna be here, Shecky Green's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Kennedy gonna be there, Jamie Presley, Jamie Foxx, all Jamie Foxx, all the Jamie gonna be there. I hope the rest of Los Angeles gets that like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> How about Michael Jackson? Will he be there? <laughs> Michael, Michael Jackson going to be there. Young boy, not there. <laughs> Young boy in the back eating pie. It's fine. <laughs> My, Latoya going to be there injecting lip. It's fine. Dorky <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, <laughs> no, now, as you guys know, it's the 30th year, and, you know, it's, just, it's our 30th year of 
amazing. Jamie Masada, the left factor, he gives away turkeys, and it's awesome. And anybody who wants to eat essentially can come down. And it's at one o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock, and you know, and homeless, homeless. How about this, Jimmy Masada? Says if you if you see homeless people, it's not just for homeless and for actors, it's for everybody. But if you actually see homeless people, he wants you to round them up and bring them. Really? Yes. He's going out of his way. As many homeless people we give you, <laughs> more homeless people you bring, we get coupons for show. <laughs> I, just, I thought the only place that did that was the Doctor Phil show. That's how they fill out the audience. Eat more homeless than Doctor Phil. <laughs> Hey, Jamie said he's got a special bottle of red wine for you, too, to come oh, down. Oh, very nice. You should come down. You should. But it's everybody's going to be there, like I said, Dane and, you know, Lovitz and Saget and, you know, I'm just Dom Arrera and I'm dishing out food, having fun. But it's everybody who's, you know, it's a tough time in the world and for people that don't have family out here. So, and the guy, Brad Garrett bought a bunch of blankets so people don't, if they're waiting in the cold, they'll give you a blanket. It's a till death blanket. Oh. <laughs> Says till death on this show. Come down, down, Barney, girls. <laughs> Last year, 3,000 pumpkin pies were served. <laughs> Tom Cruise, not going to be there, but stop by, maybe. <laughs> Will Smith coming, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, all people have to do is show up. Is that the deal? Show up and just say, I'm hungry, man. Yeah, that's it. I'm hungry. I used to go there all the time as a as a homeless person before I made it. Really? I yeah, had no when idea. I was like broke and, you know, just going out auditions. And I used to go there and Jamie used to feed me. He's been a great guy. He's been doing it for 30 years. Yeah. You know, the Laugh Factory right on Sunset next to Greenblatt and Crescent and Sunset. And it's awesome. I mean, actors. If you, it's basically for people that just want to eat Thanksgiving and laugh and don't have family or just hungry. Now, do agency people go down there and uh, like look for uh, the, the talent to sign up there? Uh, you never know who's coming in off the street. You never know. I mean, a guy with a beard and a shopping cart, he comes in, he may eat, but he may have a good five minutes. <laughs> he can be like Yakov Smirnoff. You never know. He may, he may have a good you know, Stallone impression. We'll put him up. <laughs> Always looking for new Stallone impressions. Absolutely. The world needs more Stallone impressions. <laughs> That's right. Never enough. Never enough, buddy. <laughs> hey, you know, you're in my movie. You're in my movie, Heckler. You know, somebody told me about that, and I never saw it. I got to get you a copy. If I can get your address off the air. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll send it to you. But you're in it, yeah. And you're, you know, thank you for doing it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right, it's going to be tomorrow, Laugh Factory in West Hollywood, right there on the Sunset Strip. And it's at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Come uh, on down, eat, and let's all give thanks. Very nice. All right, uh, thank you, Jamie. Good to talk to you. Hang, right, on, hang, hang on, we'll give you we'll get you my address so I, I can get a look at your movie. I did not see that one. I know I'm in it. I get email about it once in a while. Laugh Factory in Hollywood, and uh, of course the phone number there is three two three six five six thirteen thirty six. Ask for Jamie Masada personally. He's the president of the company, but he will take time to speak to you. Tell him I sent you. All right, here we are, day before Thanksgiving. Who can come in and ruin everything? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here comes um, Ivan. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Ivan. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going okay. Hey, man, I got the I got the ultimate party crasher, uh, buzz killer, slash habitual line crosser. It's my drunkle Bill. Drunkle Bill? <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this, he's the type of guy that tra he travels with a half gallon of Bacardi Clear uh, to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> and Dude. what does he do when he comes in? Oh, man, well, you know, first off, he'll start off the morning by, you know, uh, he lives in Arizona, so 120 degrees, he's outside in Bermuda shorts and dress shoes with Stacey Adams, perhaps. Um, <laughs> and, and he's smoking a brisket at, uh, like, 10 in the morning. <laughs> this is no this is no BS, man. I believe you. Oh, <laughs> uh, and, and then when he gets on a good one, he starts talking to the older ladies in regard to, like, hip replacements and bad wigs. <laughs> I mean... When you talk about embarrassment, this guy is embarrassment squared. 
<laughs> oh my! Oh yeah! Oh jeez! Hey, now, now, was... now, do people feel obligated to invite him? I mean, how does he even find out that someone's having a Thanksgiving dinner? Well, you know, I have I have uh, two uncles and one aunt that live within a block from each other, so he can pretty much smell the food from around the corner, and then he shows up off of a Bacardi and you know, three thousand cigarettes. I mean, he's he's fantastic. Wow! Yeah, he's a great guy. But he's drunk. Yeah, he's drunk, and he's imagine this man. He's like uh, he looks like um, Louis Farrakhan, but he's about as tall as Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> 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 and he stutters. He stutters. He's, he's insane. I would love to do a dwarf toss. A dwarf toss with a little Louis Farrakhan. Hey, let me let me tell you, Tom. <laughs> I've never seen anybody take a Polaroid camera and turn it sideways like a Wimbledon photographer. <laughs> Only this guy can achieve this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ivan. Hey, take care, Tom. Appreciate the call. <laughs> Drunkle Bill. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Who can just walk in and ruin your, ruin your dinner? Who's going to ruin it? You're having a perfect day, and they're going to ruin it. Or maybe they have ruined one on you. Don on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much. Hey, first time call, a long time listener. Thank you so much. Yeah, back uh, about 15 years ago, my brother uh, uh, and his wife and kid came to my mom's house, who uh, was the, uh, single at the time, and uh, she decided to start uh, disseminating her information, how unhappy my brother was with all the holiday spirit stuff that we do. This is uh, a time after we went through a tragedy with my brother, who was, was was killed, and, you know, trying to keep the family together. And she opened up her freaking fat mouth, and I just went off on her. And haven't spoken to them since. He's actually uh, sent me a letter, ostracizing me from the family, and never wants to have communication again with me. What is it with people who do that? I don't understand that. It just still bothers me. You know, it's my brother, and, uh, you know, obviously he's siding with his wife and kids and all that stuff, which is, but it just, I mean, it was really messed up. Sounds messed up. Yeah. So that, that was a, that was a Christmas dinner 15 years ago. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for that, Don. All right, here you are. You're going to have Thanksgiving dinner. There's that one person, could be a family member, could be a friend, probably a family member. Maybe not your immediate family, but, uh, you know, uncles, cousins, in-laws, something. Who is it that could walk in and ruin your day tomorrow? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Who could come over and ruin your day just by walking into the room? It's Melissa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. i uh, got the best Thanksgiving story for you. Okay. Okay. Um, my stepmother... She decided to tell my father, she's only eight years older than me, uh, decided to tell my father on Thanksgiving Day that she slept with my older brother. On Thanksgiving, she decided to tell that story. You know, it, it, she just thought it was the best time in the world, I suppose. What um, is it about people who think that way? You know, it's bad enough to do something bad. But why would you want to wait until everybody was there and then announce it? I... She got mad at him because he was drinking and told him that, so I guess to get back at him for his drinking that he promised not to do, she decided to just tell him that she slept with his son. Oh, my God. It's outrageous. Yeah. I was to say, though, the drinking got worse throughout the day. <laughs> um, and I don't remember much of that Thanksgiving, but I do know it was bad. How do you go on after that? Like, how do you continue the day? What did your dad do? Um, I, he he got really drunk, and we had um, a longtime friend there uh, that kind of, we called Uncle. Um, but uh, he got really drunk. We went 
to a motel room. I don't know why, but we went and rented a motel room, and me and my little brother um, ordered pizza while they got drunk in the motel room. <laughs> <laughs> and your stepmother heard, motel room? Where are we going? Huh? And your stepmother heard about a motel room, and she was in all in. No, she, I have no clue what happened to her. I know my older brother ran away that night, and it was just me and my little brother. And I remember every Thanksgiving has been bad for us, though, so up until, I'd say probably about six years ago, it started getting better. What happened then? You know, I hate to say it this way, because it sounds really, really bad, but my father passed away, and um, my Thanksgivings were just with me and my children. And there was no drinking anymore. <laughs> so. Oh, my. That's what it took. So it was your dad, really, who was ruining them. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, like, I hate to say that because, you know, I love my dad. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, he was, you know, he was a bad alcoholic. And he was, it was every, it seemed like every holiday we had, every time we had a holiday coming up, it got worse. And something happened. By the way, what happened with your brother? The one she slept with? Yeah. Uh, well, he ran away, and I didn't hear it from him for probably about a year. Um, and now, though, he just, he, he went down the wrong path. <laughs> he, he, he what? He went down the wrong path. You know, ah. he's, uh, he's in and out of jail a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's dysfunctional family. Did he, uh, did he ever explain his side of banging your father's the father's wife? Uh, no, you know he know You know she he wasn't the only one she slept with. So <laughs> you know, I mean, like she slept with pretty much everybody we knew, and so I guess he was just one of the many down the line. And you know, he he was a fifteen year old male. What do you expect? <laughs> he was 15. 15. He was a 15-year-old male. Yes, that was bad. See, I'm telling you, top number one dysfunctional family here. Unbelievable. You might take the cake today, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but oh, No doubt. Yeah. Well, thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for telling us that story. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Who could walk in that door tomorrow and ruin everything? Gina. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. It's Gina from the Valley. Uh-huh. The person that could not only walk in the door but just make a phone call would be my sister. And it's not just one Thanksgiving. It's every Thanksgiving and every Christmas. She's well, a little crazy. A little crazy? Well, she's bipolar on no medication. Oh, No. So we'll actually have her six-year-old daughter in our house and her own mother's not invited because we're not really sure what she'll say or what she'll do. And her story is now she's starving and just needs to find a place to get some turkey. Oh, yeah. no! Yeah, which, of course, she's got every guy in town helping her with something. Of course. Somehow another can't get a dinner. Yeah. And we're actually, we'll have her ex at our house, too. Her ex? <laughs> so we'll does, definitely does he have, have to lock the door. Does he have problems also? No, 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 but we just all have problems with her. We help her ex get custody of my niece because that's how crazy my sister is. And the sad thing is that before my father passed away, which was 10 years ago, he said, I don't want to have these crazy holidays anymore. Basically, like, my mom used to be a jeweler, so she might give my sister a you know, two or $300 ring in her stocking or this or that, and she'd take things out and go, and that's garbage, and that's garbage, and basically tell everybody she was throwing the gifts away. So we swore we wouldn't have those kind of holidays, and she still continues to show up. Unbelievable. Now, I, if I could, I'd invite everybody to my house in Los Angeles. But the scary thing is I'm actually driving six hours for this torture. So if she shows up, I have to leave the house. She might try to fight me. Who knows? Oh, God. And can you just make her go away? 
Um, well, my mother's saying she's not invited in the house, and of course I feel bad because there will be other people there. So I said, I don't care if she comes in the house. I just need to leave, and we can't keep my mother alone with her because she's hit the mother before. So I know some of these people's stories are so funny, but try having someone who has mental illness and feel sorry for them. You want to include them, but you truly cannot. No, I have. I draw the line. You know what? If uh, people in the family have mental illness, uh, they'd like to drop by. How about on a day that's not a holiday? Exactly. You, you don't have the right to ruin the holidays for other people. Exactly. You know what? I, and I want to say this before I get off the phone. And I've never heard anyone say, why does anyone say what a great voice you have? Oh, uh-oh. Zero tolerance policy. Yeah! Love getting a compliment, but the S word still has not been approved for broadcast. Go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas. It's on the blog there. The list of all the words you can never, ever, ever, ever say. Ever. Not even by accident. Never. We hang up on you and that's it. Ouch. Myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number here. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, John. Hey, Tom. Hey. How's it going? So far, so good. All right. Um, I have a crazy sister just like the last caller. Um, she comes to Thanksgiving and Christmas every year and picks at least four people in the family to, to start fights with. It's absolutely deranged. Like last year, she got in a fist with my sister and like put her head into the wall of a uh, like through some drywall. It really? Was, really? It was completely, completely insane. So she's pretty much been banned from the holidays, and like the other person, sister shows up still. Ugh. And I mean, she has two kids, and we have them. Sh we have them come, and she like she treats them terrible too. They moved in with my aunt instead of living with the, her mom. Unbelievable! Like, I, I I draw the line. Not allowed. It's not allowed in my life. Not allowed. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I, I don't deal with it. I don't talk to her ever. But when she shows up, it's kind of hard to uh, stay out of the way of that tornado. Well, and they would not be allowed to show up. They would not be allowed access to my house. That's how that would work. Well, it's not my house, so it's not really. Well, you live my... at home. You live at home with your parents still. No, I don't. I, I have a loft in downtown. Oh, but how does your sister get in? Um. Well, I go to my aunt's house. Okay. Where they have Thanksgiving. So it's over there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Down and why does she Diego. tolerate it? Uh, because she's like one of those uh, free spirit hippies. Oh. 60s generation uh -oh. people. Uh oh. Yeah. So it, it's hard to avoid the whole thing, I guess. You could say. Oh, God. That's why I like having it in my own turf, you know? I have a, it's, it's like at my own home arena. Exactly. And I make the rules. And I determine yeah. the guest list, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, when it's at my parents' house, she doesn't show up, so. Because your parents won't tolerate it. No, no more. Yeah. My dad, it's my dad's uh, stepdaughter. My dad, I'm his only kid, so he doesn't he doesn't tolerate it at all. I don't blame him. Thanks for the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Who could set foot in your house tomorrow and just by walking in the door and parting their lips could just ruin everything? Todd, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello. Yes. Um, hello, father. Hello, Todd. <laughs> Man, I've been trying to get a hold of you on um, other topics for a long time, but first time getting through. Anyways, I want to make this sh short and foremost, you know, get my point across. My brother-in-law, Jesus Christ, the moment I see that guy's face, I mean, he tries to come over on Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, and uh, this guy doesn't have a mental disease. He's just an... I would say I'm straight more. Is he married to your sister or is he? Uh... Oh, I'm married to his sister. You're married to his sister. Okay. And she's just alike. But, you know, anyways, I won't get into that. It's not that topic tonight. Anyways, this guy, every consecutive year, 
Christmas, Thanksgiving. Uh, it could be uh, some, uh, a party of a birthday kid, uh, one of the kids' birthday party. You name it. Guy comes in uninvited, drunk, talking crap to everybody. I mean, you know, this guy just, uh, I, I, I couldn't explain any more. I mean, uh, last year on uh, New Year's, and uh, uh, Thanksgiving, I kicked him out of my house, and the New Year's came came over trying to apologize, and I told uh, his sister, which is my wife, that uh, the guy's not welcomed at my house, starts problems, you name it, Jesus Christ. I ended up smacking him up across his face, and uh, ever since then, the guy's not welcomed at my house. So, you know, it's... I don't think I think he's he, he could be bipolar. Damn, you know I think his his sister is. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but you know I won't get into that. Insufferable. Um, but, and so, why are you still married? What's the reason? Oh man, well you know hey, I was uh, 16 when I got her knocked up. She was a lot older, you know, 24. You know she uh, she had the almost unbelievable. Uh, I can't say. I got kids around, but Jesus Christ, man. She put it on me. <laughs> she put it on me. Um, she, she took me to the, you know, she, uh, you know, she took me to the cleaners, man, you know, and, uh, man, I, I, I wish I could say, you know, I, I was hearing your show back, what, 15 years ago, man, you All know, right. cause, uh, like I said, I've been a faithful listener for at least the last five years, I would say. Uh-huh. And uh, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, I encourage all my employees, everybody that that uh, that works with me and for me and, you know, turn them on to your station. You know, not a lot of young Hispanic people out in Pasadena knows uh, about your show, but, you know, I, I sure in the hell put it out there. You know, and uh, I appreciate what you do, man. I was wondering if you could take me out with a Kobe and a Bong, man. I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You get a beat in my heart. Oh. You get air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred, Thomas here. Telephone number. Who's that one person who could walk into your place for Thanksgiving dinner and ruin it for everybody? Everybody. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Dan on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Well, yeah, one person could ruin it. Actually, two people could at the same time. That's my ex-wife and my brother. But, of course, they sort of live in the same town to which I have to go for my Christmas dinner. Your ex-wife and your brother, are they involved somehow? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they're married. Your ex-wife married your brother? Yeah. How did that happen? Um, don't know. 20 years later, I guess uh, they couldn't uh, keep it in the pants, and they got together, and they are married. Then, of course, my mother passed away about three years ago, and a year after that happened, my stepdad married my first wife's mother. What? <laughs> so now what you have, think about this carefully, is my brother is now my brother-in-law. Your brother is now your brother-in-law. And my two children with that woman... He is now their stepdad and uncle. At the same time? At the same time. And all of her sisters, instead of being my ex-in-laws, are now my stepsisters-in-law. 
I don't know how that works out. I get confused. Maybe you owe it to everyone to bone all of them. <laughs> Talk about confusing as to who's related to who and how. Unbelievable. Yeah, you know, nothing like pressure walking into your own your own family come Thanksgiving. How do you get along with your brother ever since he married your ex-wife? We never we never talk, and that's the sad part. What am I going to do? Call him and say, "Hey, how's it going? How's my ex? How's married life?" <laughs> It's twisted. It really Remember is that twisted. thing she wouldn't do with me? Does she do that with you? <laughs> exactly. Compare notes, you know. Hey, you're good compare notes. I just thought I'd let you know that, you know, sometimes it doesn't take mental illness. It just takes a twisted sense of, what well, I don't know, morality, <laughs> decency, whatever it is, man. Well, some people just don't draw any lines. No. No. Apparently not. Amazing. Apparently not. Amazing stuff. This, um, well, I thought I'd tell you. Dad, I'm glad you told me. <laughs> Thank you. You have a great time at your house tomorrow. Thank you. Jeremy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Okay. Tom, I got a heroin addict for a cousin. Last year, he shot up in the bathroom. Blood sprayed everywhere. Family walked in, had to break open the door to get access to him. Now, can't yeah. that, can't that uh, little rascal find a vein? What's his problem? <laughs> I don't know. He's overdosed three times, so apparently he knows how to do it. <laughs> I got a dad who's an alcoholic, beats the mom about 8.30 at night on Thanksgiving, pretty much consecutively. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. My aunt's bipolar. My cousin just got arrested yesterday. It's going to be a great Thanksgiving this year, Tom. Why was he arrested? Uh, believe it or not, he was stealing aluminum cans out of a garage, probably to buy some methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It's great, because I look like a, a saint. Go in there, and uh, all i got to do is hold down a great, uh, normal job, and everybody puts me on the pedestal. <laughs> Amazing stuff. It's good to hear from you, Tommy. Great. I've been listening for 11 years. been married twice, unfortunately. Because I'm not a good listener. <laughs> hey, I understand. All right, Jeremy. Thanks for the call. Wow. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Alicia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. Great to hear from you. Uh, yeah, so my dad. He was married before I was born to his high school sweetheart, which ended up being a psychotic, you know, you know what. Um, and uh, so he got married to her. He did all the wrong things. Obviously, I don't think you had a like as one one back then, but uh, he uh, had two kids with her. She actually had the second one um, just to keep them, and you know how that goes. But um, he en enlisted in the Army to get away from her just because she was psycho and uh he, you know, she just won't leave. And, you know, I'm 22. Um, he was with, he's been with my mom since she's, um, since been with my bro um, since she had my brother. So she's, she had been out of the picture like years and years and years ago. And she just won't leave. She's attached. Um, and I know she's good for a fact. I know she's going to be there at my grandma's at uh, Thanksgiving. I know for a fact because my grandma loves her. She has like an attachment to her. Everybody else hates her. Well, at least. My dad does. He calls her the pig, and he hates her. He doesn't want anything to do with her. He won't even, like, acknowledge her presence, and she just won't leave. Unbelievable. So uh, do you know if she's going to show up tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, I mean, because my, my, my half-brothers, I mean, well, one's in jail, you know, go figure, and the other one, he's, like, a loser. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's going to go, um, and... I just don't want her to be there. So I know for a fact she's the one person that's going to walk into the place that uh, is really, you know, like, I should be used to her by now, but it still, you know, irks me that, you know, she doesn't get the hint that, you know, you're not part of this family anymore. And she always brings her legitimate daughter and her, like, four kids that she had, you know, with four different guys, and she tattoos their, you know, their name on her body every time she meets a new guy. Are you so, serious? Yeah, she's, she's kind of sad. What, she look, like a, she look like a freeway underpass on uh, the 60 freeway or something? I guess. I guess, you know, you know wh whoever was here on her body. But, yeah, she's a different uh, train wreck, uh, but I guess she gets it from her mother. 
But yeah, as you can see, it's uh, people just don't know how to let go. And I understand what you're talking about, women. Um, and I hope to be nothing like that. And I know it won't be. <laughs> oh Jesus! But thanks, Tama. Uh, thanks for uh, letting me have my peace. Hopefully, uh, she didn't hear that, but she does. Uh, can you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Colin on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, how hey, you doing? Doing okay. Uh, long time, first time. Thank you. So I got this older brother, uh, pretty much a complete loser. Um, parents have a nice house out in Palm Springs. We go out there every year. He his his well, Thanksgiving. His birthday's in early December, and then obviously Christmas comes. Well. He shows up on Thanksgiving, uh, complains about everything, drinks all the booze, steals stuff from my mother's house. And then, since he has nowhere to real live, he's couch surfing. Keep in mind, he's 32 years old. He makes his presence there stay all the way till Christmas. And everyone hates him in the family, but the mother, with her motherly love, can't say no, get the hell out. So the whole family can't stand the guy. Wants nothing to do with them, but it's almost like we have to put up with this every single year. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And it's, it, I think I'm spending Thanksgiving uh, maybe at a friend's house this year because I just don't want to do it. Can't, can't be around it. Wow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And uh, everyone else in my family is educated, smart, no problems, and uh, he's just an absolute loser. Jesus. Colin, thanks a lot for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Our show streams live by pressing the Listen Live button at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.